it's a new dawn and it's a new day. But today is a lovely kind of day. Because look who's here. Hello, we were blessed to have you stay over last night, weren't you? Now I'm gonna need you to go to the toilet, so go poo. Thank you. All right, here it's Farmer Tom checking in. Got my headphones in, look at that. I'm doing some music, jamming and listening. See that tree right there, right? That is the perfect point to make a connection between next door and this property. So I don't have to keep walking all the way round and to the front. I can just go through like Homer Simpson. Oh yeah. Let's take a look at what we're dealing with. I've got tools today. Saw, hammer, beautiful. All right, so basically I made an issue, found a concrete post there. So I'm gonna have to kind of like get rid of this wooden post here and go through the gap there without, without hopefully damaging any of the trees. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> all right. Three and a half old fence panels later, which was like the natural dividing line between the houses before these trees were here, we're actually through. It's a bit of a smoother process now. I've not snapped all the trees. Unfortunately, a few branches got like, you know, like damaged like this, which I didn't want because I want to be able to like just push it back over at a later date if I need to. So I've just tried to like, you know, intertwine them within one another. But all that stands in our way of a smooth passage is this thing. But look at my totally not obvious pathway through. Whoa. Okay, so don't get me wrong. I am not ruining these trees in any means because these took so long for us to grow and to look after. I've literally just like, you know, tucked the trees from under each other like this. But because like with these conifers, you can just tuck them in and create yourself space without snapping the branches just to provide yourself a little hole to get through, which is exactly what I'm doing. Right, oh, um, ignore this being my digging tool. Uh, I'm actually not prepared for things like this. I've spoke to my dad. He says, uh, well, because first of all, I've made a decision. I'm going to remove this one by digging it out with my um, <clears throat> spade. Yep, that's what I'm kind of using. And my dad said this should be pretty easy just to dig like a bucket hole and it should just fall over and it'll make the pathway perfect. See you in about five hours, soon as though I don't have a shovel. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Someone's heard this hard labour going on in this house. What, dun, not, dun, not, dun. Not, <laughs> Tom, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to get this post out. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I much prefer that idea. So I borrowed a shovel off a neighbor or a spade. This is not Minecraft nowadays to start digging it out without damaging the roots. My dad's just turned up with his advice. We did say we'd dig it out and then pull it out. Cause it's got a big cement base on the bottom of it. Well, instead my dad being my dad, he's got a tool for every job of which he's going to go and sort it out. Right, whilst we're waiting for Kenneth to come with his power tools, I'm going to quickly go along the edge line here and remove anything that's dead, like this dead tree, these bushes here, which were put in to stop the badger, but they clearly didn't stop the badger because we're going to stay in my garden. Amazing. Way up. I can hear it. Oh. I can hear it. Oh my God. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Oh my God. You look like some out of a horror movie. There's no messing about when you've got a Ken in the house. Oh my lord, it go on the boy. No way he's done it that <clears throat> what? Oh, go on the boy. Look at that. Yeah, I can just cover that in with dirt, can't I? Go on, lad. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Yeah, I'll fill it up. No way, sorted. And now we've just protected all the roots around it. What a legend. Look at that. We've got the trees pinned back. Ta da! <laughs> All I need to do is put some pretty flowers around it and it's a it's an entrance for elves. I tell you something, I can get used to these services. One service requirement of Ken for one beer. Oh, I do like that. Now that we've pinned it back, I invite you, Kenneth, to take the maiden passage through. Da 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 May alcohol lead us. Da 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 it's been an hard day of graft. Actually, agreeing we've got a beer in his hands. Oh, I have we. Hard day's graft. Tom? Yeah. Just look at that view. Wow. Literally, out of all the sky right now, this is the one cloud <laughs> blocking the sun being on us. Yeah. But I tell you something. You Can you see that secret passage? No, exactly. I picked the perfect location. It's not so secret now, everyone knows about it, but to the naked eye, boom. Ken, till next time. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir, my friend. I'm going to see your debut of you escaping into the passage. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good.
It's actually so damn good. Wait. What do you think? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually said it, you just fallen over, innit? Oh, it's there. <laughs> bye bye now. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> what an absolute lad. All right. So, this is where all the project of the next door house, which I'm still really good at not coming up with a name with, begins. And the reason for that is I am using The Sims to recreate the house in its current state and then scale it and come up with design ideas, which is why I said, make sure you tune in to my Twitch channel because I'm going to be designing the concept of the build next door live with you guys. All right, like many hours later, we've pretty much recreated the house next door in The Sims. If I pull up a picture of the actual house, look, the house in real life. The house of the Sims. I was going to add the chimneys, but they just look completely weird. But I think I've done a pretty goddamn good job. I just had an absolutely mind-boggling idea. Now, this is not sponsored by the Sims, and I'm pretty sure we should reach out to them to sponsor us, and then we could, like, build an underground bunker next door. I'm just saying. But I'm going to put this on the Sims cloud, this original version, because it's on a plot big enough to allow people to take the original house and develop it into whatever they want. So... If I can, I'll put a link in the description to it, and you guys can download this original version of the house and then do what you want with it. So if you play The Sims or you don't, download it. Again, this is not an ad, and have fun. All right, I tried my first attempt at fully redesigning one concept for the house. Now, don't get me wrong, there is going to be hundreds of concepts, but this was just the first one of trying to maximize the size and space of it. But then, yeah, basically, that is the same floor print, like, footprint sort of thing on that, but then extended at left, right, and center. It's mental. Look at that. The glow up. You cannot write it. You cannot write it. As I'm upstairs doing the Sims build of my house, and I'm dead proud of it, someone's just come next door to collect some items that uh, better you used to live there, you know, sold um, and, you know, for, or for charity to pick up. And I've just gone around, opened the garage to let them get the stuff. As they were about to leave, it was purely an accident. It just is what it is. They took the handbrake off, didn't get biting point on the, to, to, to drive away and accidentally rolled backwards and smashed into the house. You can't write it. It, it is funny. It was purely, purely an accident. Literally, just tried to get his biting point and just went backwards into it. And as you can see, the top of his van just smashed the gutter. So the gutter's been ripped open. And then I think he's just shunted the tiles up. I don't. I think he may have broken a tile there or something like that, but shunted the tiles up. So, yeah, the house has had its first injury. One week of owning a house and we're already smashing shit up. Let's go. Well, I got to say, what an absolute legend. Uh, already taking care of the damaged goods. The poor house is at its first thing, but you know what? It's just a bloody gore. It's not that, it's not that big of a deal, so it's whatever. He's put us in a temporary gutter for now, so it's not just pissing out, because we know England's lovely leather. One minute it's bloody sunny as anything, and the next minute it's about to be grey and miserable and thundering, so it's put me in a temporary gutter for now. I've just seen his mate, and he's going to come sort it out with like a new gutter on the front, and then resort out the tiles and uh, like reseal it up and stuff like that. So, uh, go, go on, Betsy. You've had your first dink. Right, I am a man with a plan. We are going on a coffee run. We are taking the Defender, and we are going to B&Q, because... As much as I love my beautiful little, like, secret hidden garden thing that I've got, it's getting very dirty. So, just like you would in Minecraft, if you walk out your door, you want a little bit of a path, that's what I'm going to do here as I'm about to get bit by a radioactive spider. Do you mind, Mr. Spider-Man? Please vacate the premises. That was pretty cool. Okay, and we're going to clean this up, put some slate in, and then... As we get some slate chippings for the floor, we're gonna get a wheelbarrow and we're gonna get rid of all the stuff along the edge. And rather than being inefficient, if I have a wheelbarrow, I'll be able to take loads of time, move it all out of the way and get this tree land ready to be removed. Let's go get ourselves a bunch of tools. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my gosh, absolutely lovely day. Can't wait to get out working in the garden, but I need to find the wheelbarrow. If that was a wheelbarrow, where would I be? I'm seeing bags of dirt, bags of sand, all sorts of stuff, but just, no wheelbarrows. Oh, here we go. Do I need a shed? Probably. But look at that bad boy. Oh, shit. Now that one, big old bad boy, flimsy as a bollocks. Not sure what's going on with that one. I'll tell you what, I like the look of that. 90 litre bad boy. Ooh. Durable barrow. 
Beautiful. I call that mission successful. We've got all the tools I could possibly need for gardening. Got a wheelbarrow, spare bucket for just picking up trash when I need to just move it. And we're pretty much rocking. Right, it's time for the embarrassing task to try and put it in. I guarantee it doesn't fit. No way. Is it perfect? Oh, what an absolute beauty. Um, may, may have a new armrest over there uh, to be chilling on. But other than that, it's all in. You can't make this up. I've just turned up outside my dad's house to show him all my new tools. He's not in. I ring him. Where are you? It's at my house. I'm hoping he's not here to uh, reverse into my house, which people seem to be love to be doing. <laughs> oh, Kenneth. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's the man with the plan. Man with the... You don't need a crowbar, do you, Dad? Don't need a sledgehammer, do you, Dad? You just, you just, you just, um, a chainsaw. <laughs> I don't need a chainsaw, Dad. Oh my God, you look, are you exhausted? Okay, well, what's going on here? My bloody Lord, it's absolutely nailing it, Dad. Right, so I'll be doing no gardening. Okay, but we're on to our next task. Ken is kicking down the back door. What's going on, lad? Trying to pick the lock, bloody hell. Have we got a spare? Oh, oh, Andy? First time this door's been open in how long? 15 years. No way. Yeah. Well done, that lad. We're through. What an actual <laughs> man. We've got a temporary new lock on it so we can actually get in and out. But look at that. Absolutely that. battered that thing, lad. Jeez. Bye-bye, father. Bye-bye. See, now, I'm just being an absolute wimp, not even going working in the in the rain. More so, I actually picked up waterproof equipment at B&Q and thought, nah, I won't need that. I just won't work in the rain. Now I can't do anything. But he's going on a bike ride tonight in this weather. Godspeed. I didn't even know my dad was coming doing this. What a, what a legend. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not the right lock in it. It, it. It's actually too big, but it's better for me to be able to get straight out the back door rather than walking all the way around. But as my dad pointed out, it's too big. So I need to go and get a, a, a different one. All right, time for an unbox haul of what we actually just got. All right, from B&Q, we got the wheelbarrow. Shuttles and spades, a baby one too, an even smaller one known as a trowel, a dustpan and brush, a sledgehammer, an axe, vampire slaying equipment, the claw hammer, the size doesn't matter hammer, a handsaw, a crowbar, not one, but two tape measures because these things magically disappear, extendable secateurs, a lump hammer for when size does matter, a rake to make the leaves shake, some gloves, some twine for your wine, a bucket for a muppet, a bag for your swag, some little baby snippers, and uh, a, a chainsaw. Uh, I, I, I think I think that one explains itself. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my B and Q haul. You would actually guess that this was sponsored by Magnuson, but it's not. I just really like the fact that it was all black and it looked really cool. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my B and Q haul. Where the bloody hell is that tape measure gone? Thank God that little skate's over. Do you know how long that actually took me to like stop, record and place one every single thing in every single place without it falling? The, the, the outtakes of it all falling over was a nightmare. But alas, that is my B&Q haul. I'm pretty happy with it. And before you go saying like, you bought all this stuff and you have no idea what you do with it. My dad was a builder. Every single thing that I bought here, I actually know how to use and will actually be using. Everything here has a purpose. So... Yeah, I'm just uh, excited to get moving everything out the back. I could actually get on with it now, but when I was in B&Q, like I said, I bought everything I thought I needed. There was even waterproof, like, you know, clothing there. And I was just like, I won't need that. It's absolutely gorgeous weather. And then it, uh, and then it rained. So, hey, hey, way. Now, I've had some somewhat bad news. It's not like the end of the world news, but it's gonna, one, cost money, and two, just be a bit of a... Okay, so this kind of like messes with the plans. So as we all know, I'm obviously clearing out this back section here to be able to save my conifers and repurpose them from like there to here, which was the plan. But we've had a big discussion about it and we genuinely don't think we're gonna be able to move the conifers without damaging the roots and killing them because they're so intertwined with one another that I really don't know what to do. And the garden that I spoke to about it said that it's probably better to just plant new trees so then that way they're healthy on both sides and they can like grow together again like and not have damaged roots. So kind of kicking myself a bit right now because I'm hoping I can avoid that. We'll see what they look like and we, we'll give it a go. And if it ends up being the case that they all die, then we have to replace them. But hey, I'm not a tree killer, all right? I'm a, okay, wait, I'll tell you that back. I, I think I've definitely killed a tree in this lockdown. I'm a tree killer and replanter. 
you take one down, you put one down, all right? That, that's our philosophy on this plot of land and we'll try and add more to it. But right, happy days. I now should no longer have to keep going through the front door seeing as though I've got access to the back so I can just keep popping in and out through the secret passage and be set. Let's go change our shoes and uh, get a bit of raking done at the back. Oh yeah! Mate, this thing's already doing the absolute job. That, I'm glad I brought an actual shovel for shoveling things rather than a spade for digging. I finally worked out what the difference was. I think my dad was pretty embarrassed when he found out I didn't know the difference, but I thought it was an American versus British word. Whatever. But the clean out has begun. We must remove the vines within the trees. Urgh! This is where that ends up going through my eye, but thank God I'm wearing safety equipment. Nice. Okay, we found the first snag. You're in Minecraft, because like this whole project's like Minecraft in real life, basically, right? Minecraft, you dig up dirt, you put it in a chest. Well, in real life, it doesn't freaking work like that. So I'm gonna make a compost heap over here. I'm not digging up dirt, but I've moved like that much of the corner of the garden and it's already filled a wheelbarrow. So what I'm gonna do is move this random astroturf, probably gonna throw that away, so I'll probably take that to the tip today. Gonna to move all these spare tiles for the roof onto like the other side or up against there. And then this will work as the perfect spot to put it all. One thing I'll say is I don't like move, moving things twice. My dad always taught me that. If you're gonna put something down, always put it where it's meant to end up. So you're not constantly juggling things. So I completely agree with that. And I spoke to my dad, I said, what's the best thing to do with all this? He said, make a compost heap. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And it can just stay there. And if I need to use it to fill in some like spots of land or whatever, I can. Oh shit. Oh my God, I nearly just died. Oh, I've pissed it off. I have pissed it off. No, 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 no. I am deadly allergic to wasps and bees. As I stopped filming that and I went back to pull up, pull it over, my finger was right next to a wasp nest and this big queen, like, queen wasp just came out like, sup, bro? Oh, my God. Oh, this, this is a bad idea, this. This is how I got stung 13 years ago. Can you see it? Oh, my God, I actually probably just shot myself. I wish I would have got that on camera. No joke, you should have seen the size of the wasp that just came out of that, man. Oh my God, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna leave this for a minute. If you could feel my heartbeat right now, I'm usually like never scared of wasps because it's just like, it just leave it alone and it won't, it won't piss you off. I just shook it home. I was that close from my finger being in the wasp nest. If it would have just jabbed me then, like, I think it would have gone straight through these gloves, but oh my God. Look, <laughs> full goosebumps on my arm, oh my God. Oh, na 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 na. Hello. Oh my gosh. That was scary, man. I can hear it. Oh, it's there. Oh my God, it's on top of me. I ain't being a pussy. I'm really not, because like, my mum, I just told my mum about it and she just said, do you have your EpiPen with me? And I'm like, well, it's in the house next door. Um, so I probably should go and get it, but I do not think I should continue there for the rest of the day. I just don't, because if I'm just where its territory is, it's just going to be pissed off and try and kill me, so. I'm, I'm going literally as far away as I can to the other end of the garden. The compost heap's just gonna have to wait. <laughs> I was gonna do like a nice little before and after so it looked dead clean and everything like that, but I've been scared off by an animal or an insect this big. Right. Holly bush invasion of this section before and after. Doesn't look like a crazy big change, but look how much more light you can see through it. Now I've got rid of all this holly that has just invaded this section. You might not think there was actually a lot, but um, turns out there was freaking loads. I've chopped these guys down with this and that one up top, a little bit of a trimming, but I'm gonna try and take that one down with an ax. Now I'm not gonna go like swinging at it like I ho, I ho. I'm gonna be careful with it and just try and chop into it and see if I can just pull it out in one. I'm glad I didn't put that on camera because I'll tell you something, that was hard work. <laughs> But, I did it. <laughs> what a big bastard. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. I can see next door. Historical moment. I was gonna say, well, yeah, I was going to say fence post one gone, but it's actually a tree with a fence post stapled to it. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We have broke land. Fence post down. I'll get this out the ground. Same with this one. I'm glad to say I used the axe for the sake of saying I used it. Chainsaw just would have been 
so much faster. As a work day comes to a close, that is what I call a pretty goddamn good job compared to say it used to look like that and now it looks like that. Should we take should we take the first walk through? You ready? Ta da! <laughs> Look at that! So thick on this side, these trees, it's beautiful. It's a shame about the other side being a bit, you know, like not so much there, but <sighs> very happy with how much progress I've made today. But it's nearly half past five, and I'm not going to keep like hacking and slashing away at the back to disturb the neighbours. So I think I'll wrap up now and just be proud of what I've done today. And then after flip in heck, I have moved one hell of a lot of just shit, ivy, like thorns, everything you can imagine out of this thing. Fence posts to the total of this amount. Look at that. Look what I've dragged out of it. It's unbelievable. To say just moving the crap before it was that, and then all the like holly and stuff like that is that much. We've got our work cut out for all the rest of this, but like I said, for day one, I consider that a great success. Now let's keep those positive vibes right up for a second because I need to address something really fast with all you guys. When I made the video, you know, announcing that we've got the house next door and it's gonna be a big project and everything like that, I did actually film a clip addressing how I got the house next door. Cause so many people were like, it was so heartwarming to read. So many people asking like, oh, I hope that like, the woman next door is okay. Like, is she in hospital? Did she pass away? Betty is A-OK. -okay. She's moved into a home where she can get a bit more care cause she's like 96 years old. Just comes with age sort of thing, you know, the family chose that it was best for her to be in there and she's doing A-OK. -okay. So to everyone asking me, I just wanted to make sure that I mentioned in this vlog that Betty is A-OK. -okay. She was my Valentine from next door. She was my neighbor that I've had for the longest time. I honestly thought she'd be in there for another 10 years because her sister lived till she was 106, which is absolutely mental. But yeah, just wanted to end the vlog on that note of sending some posi positive like vibes out into the universe that Betty is doing A-OK. -okay. So thank you very much for asking. And also followed everyone keeps saying, Tom, we've not seen your granddad yet. He he is a okay and I will be getting him round to the house soon to see the, the new build. I'm really excited for it and the plans by the way. You think I've been doing all this garden stuff but overnight I've worked out some plans for the potential like epicness of the house and it's going to be absolutely nuts. So guys, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Make sure you leave a like button, click that subscribe button, ding dong that notification bell and don't forget, go grab yourself some Syndicate original merch. The link's down in the description. Look good, feel good and I'll see you guys in the next video. So much love and signing off.